This is my new car. Oh, <laughs> what? This is yours? Did you smack the door? Yeah. Oof. Look at them, Audrey. Damn, I'm actually pretty excited. I waxed them even. Yeah, they look good. You know what yeah. that means? White wheels, Audrey. White wheels, dirty peels. That means you have to wash your car. <laughs> this is a 2000 Honda 8. 2000 Honda 8. <laughs> 2008 Honda Fit Sport. Their name is Ashton. Ashton, R.I.P. Zanthippy. Yeah, R.I.P. Zanthippy. We will talk about that in a second, but uh, as Audrey said, 2008 Honda Fit Sport, pretty much exactly the same as my car, except it is a factory sport edition, which means and it's got- it's orange. And it's orange, obviously, and, and it's cleaner, but it means it's got the factory cool body kit. It's got cruise control. It's got tweeters, upgraded sound system. Tweeters? Tweeters. It's pretty clean. It was just repainted, so you know that was a little sketchy, but 130,000 miles, $5,000 for it? 5,000. Interior's pretty clean. I guess it's a common issue for these cars to have their steering wheels go all nasty, so that, you know, kind of has to be fixed. It has a slight oil leak from a valve cover, also kind of has to be fixed, but nothing too bad. I'm also happy to have another Honda Fit. Yeah, that's our... Because, Let's talk about her GTI. So if you guys remember, Audrey used to have a early 2000s Ford Escape. We did some modifications, it was fine, but it was cheap. Unreliable. And, and it was an early 2000s Ford, so it was unreliable. What we did is we got a Volkswagen GTI. Cause now I'm gonna take all the blame for this. Cause I thought, I mean, if you buy a 2010 car, like all, you know, that's a new enough car. It's gonna be reliable. It only had 90,000 miles. We bought it from the dealership. It was a one owner car. Owner had kept up with the maintenance all its Completely. life. We, we had, kept up with the we maintenance. Had not just the maintenance, but like well, the file of everything that had gotten done because uh -huh. they had it all on file. So how could that car be unreliable? This is why you do your research, because I did not know that that was the most unreliable Volkswagen pretty much ever made. <laughs> when we first moved to Georgia, it had rear main seal leak because of the oil separator went bad, and so it put boost pressure into the oil system, which then blew out the rear main seal, which on those cars causes a vacuum leak, so it ran like absolute dog shit, and it was a super expensive fix, and that was when I'm, I didn't have a shop, so I didn't fix it myself. Probably could have, but then I had to replace the intake manifold, because that went bad. It's a common issue on those cars, too. Did a carb cleaning, did all that, and it, it ran fine for that last year. Do you want to explain what happened the day or the day before you were driving it? It was a couple days before, but basically I seriously drove maybe like six miles um, to go to this cute little restaurant. And then um, on my way back, it just started like misfiring like crazy, like really bad misfiring. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna get it home. I'm gonna park it and I'm not gonna touch it until I need to. I needed it for work uh, a few days later and that bad boy was not starting. We did eventually got it to start and it was the the worst sounding thing I've ever experienced. At that moment, I pretty much knew it was the timing chain because that is the issue on those engines. They snap or the, the tensioner snaps, it skips timing and then it destroys the, the entire head and sometimes the bottom end. So we parked the car because yet again, didn't have the money or I didn't have the time to fix it. You were driving the Sequoia for a while. Yeah, I drove the Sequoia. I actually really loved driving that. We are lucky that we had another car that she could drive. Yeah, it's just expensive because when I first started driving it, I was working like 40 minutes away. Yeah, and, and it gets 10 miles a gallon. It gets 10 miles to the gallon sometimes. So we ended up selling the GTI to actually a person who turns out to be a fan of the channel. They've since rebuilt the motor. They took it apart and sure enough, the tensioner had broken, timing chain, skipped timing, the entire head was destroyed. Besides that, I don't know if they did anything with the bottom end or not, but lesson learned, don't buy a sixth gen GTI. Unless if you fix the timing chain issues. But even besides that, they're unreliable cars. Yeah, I just remember being like, I don't care what we get as long as it's reliable. Oh. And I let him have like full priority on like picking out really what we were getting and then. It's true, and I was the one who picked <laughs> it out. I'll, like I said, taking that L, we lost a lot of money on the car, but that is why we got a Honda Fit. 
Ever since I got mine, best car I've ever owned, I knew whatever we're gonna get you is either gonna be a Honda or a Toyota. So here we are. And if this thing is not reliable, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself either. I have apparently very bad luck with cars. She does, well, up until now we've been buying the, the wrong car. So I think that was the issue, but fingers crossed. Now that we have two Honda Fits, the fun part is that I can modify my Fit more and not have to worry about ruining it as a daily. And we can modify this one to be a cool daily. So yeah. that's what we're gonna do. Now if you didn't know, Fits come in a lot of cool colors. I just happen to have the worst one. This is, I did. Oh. Yeah, the silver was the worst least one. Least cool. Least this cool. It's still a good color. It's like a, it's like a copper orange. I quite like it. You're, you're either like gonna it. love it or hate it. But see, it's kind of hard to get wheels that look good with it, because like a, a bronze wouldn't look good. Black, nah, no. But you know what would look good? I wanted to pull it up. It's a white. So the modifications start right now. So these are Koenig hexaforms. The only white wheel Koenig makes, but man, they are gorgeous. It's also what Stop. we have on the drift track. A huge thank you to Koenig Wheels for sending out these wheels for Audrey's fit. In case you've been living under a rock, Koenig provides all the wheels for all the builds here on the channel, and I couldn't be more thankful. If you need wheels for your car, check out their website. They've got a bunch of different options from big light wheels for your track car or less aggressive wheels for your daily driver. For today, we're only gonna put these on and then we've got more mods for my fit. Hopefully in the future, I would love to bag your car because I've never bagged a car and this would be the perfect car to do it on. Do a supercharger since we're turbocharging mine. That's not reliable daily stuff. <laughs> You're right. Although it could be on a fit. We'll find out, we'll find out. We're gonna throw these on right now, then take both the fits out for a rip. <laughs> No fucking way. She's got a fucking kazoo. She torments me with that thing. You never know when you need a little kazoo in your life. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing stars. I got up. I got up a little bit too quickly. Yeah. You good? <laughs> it's the kazoo. Fucking uh. No, stop. God damn! Look at that droop. Jesus Christ. You're calling it a droop? Fucking rally car? You know what the great part about this car is? We're about to see. This is your first non, this is your first non-Illinois car. That's true. You, you know what that means? If it's rusty, I'm, I'm quitting. <laughs> not too shabby. See, down here in the south, even the exhaust doesn't really rust. Yeah, it's not even hardly anything. It's so clean. So you can see, cold, cold, or we should have lights under here. Yeah. She a little greasy, all right? Greasy. It needs a valve cover gasket, like I said, but these cars, you, you have to do valve adjustments quite frequently, and I don't feel like doing that right now. And the car also has to be cold, the engine has to be cold, and so we can't really do it right now, so I'm not doing that right now. This kind of looks like it should be attached to this. Oh, oh. Should, this should definitely be attached to this. What is that? I don't know. I'm gonna attach it though. I can't imagine they would just leave that dangling. Yeah, I was, I was like, it, it probably should because it's just hanging there. All right, uh, look, already fixed it. Not much else to see. Let's lower her. I need to build myself a 4x100 drift car because we're gonna have eight spare Honda Fit wheels. Oh. Bro. One, one of the front studs snapped when we did uh, something else. Whoever put these wheels on last. Cross the, the throat. Uh. All right, let's get him in car. <laughs> Go. That's crazy. Goes to show how much more power that has. Your leg not supposed to, not supposed to look like that. Okay, my turn. Get out of here. Oh shit. I might have to bang this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Nice. Sick. Listen, if we were in Chicago, we'd be here for at least an hour. I remember the first time I ever took a, tried to take a wheel off my Toyota Corolla. Literally, we ended up uh, chaining the wheel to a truck, then the truck drove that way. That's how we got it off. I was out there, biggest sledgehammer I could, whacking on it for so long. What? Yep. One is not like the other, but look. It's still threaded on, all right? Even with the, the broken stud, it still worked. Just a little I bit. I torqued it down to 90 foot pounds.
I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> I'm just trying to light it up. Yeah, I know, it's hard. There, there you go. go. Orange on the white. I know, the orange on the white. Audrey, what, were we, what, what was the nickname for this car? Dreamsicle? Yeah. <laughs> Dreamsicle or creamsicle? Yeah, which one is the proper? I think it's dreamsicle. I think it's dreamsicle, but I think you could also say creamsicle. Dreamsicles and creamsicles are okay. both names you could use, but they are technically two different things. Oh, one of them is the orange sherbet with an ice cream filling, right. and one of them is with an iced milk filling. Wait, wait, what? What's the difference between a dreamsicle and a creamsicle? One's with a uh, ice cream filling and one's with a iced milk filling. Isn't ice cream iced milk? <laughs> I'm just reading the internet, man. <laughs> I was working here, sure I don't know. I want to put this side on and then we can, oh. I'm kind of jealous, I kind of want these for mine. But uh, we got such a boring color car. Why did I pick a gray car? Do you know they, they make a purple Honda Fit? The dark purple or the yeah, periwinkle purple? Well, the, the dark purple. The cream sickle is the one with the ice cream in it, and the dream sickle is the iced milk. But that's. They're different, apparently. Have you ever made ice cream? Yeah, it's milk, sugar, and ice. Have you ever made iced milk? Yeah, it's milk, sugar, and ice. <laughs> so basically, sugar, either sugar. word works. Yeah. Moral of the story, I still think we should do. <gasps> Careful. Uh oh. Caleb. That was my bad. So we got slightly fatter tires on these wheels than on my fit. And so you can't really curb them. Or you really gotta, you get, you really gotta hit a curb to curb them. Sure it's possible, but. Oh, trust me. They'll get curbed. <laughs> oh no. No, I haven't curbed a wheel in a real Roger long time. said here, hold my beer. <laughs> hey, can I get some nuts? Love nuts? Though? You gotta go get your own nuts. Okay. There's a sack of nuts over there. You could almost say a nut sack. Right, nice car. Almost. Nice. <laughs> this car has a working e-brake. For an automatic, that's pretty rare. Bro, this looks so good. Clear tails next. Clear tails would really complete this car. What'd you say? Clear tails. All right. Yeah, that's nice. It is monster trucking. <laughs> yeah, can we slam it now? Man, bags are so expensive though. But imagine how sexy. I think, I think it'll lower. it'll uh, come down a little bit, but. Imagine how sexy she'd be if she was lower. And it's crazy that this is like the least aggressive wheel you can get from Koenig, and it still has poke. <laughs> it needs camber now. Yeah, a bit of a monster truck right now, but a temporary issue. So that's all the mods for your car today, Audrey. Now we've got some stuff for my fit. See those? Well, actually you can't. They're LEDs in this one. We put LEDs in the or in the reflective housing, but we're gonna put LEDs and projector housings on my car. You gotta one up me in some way. Yep. He's literally doing the gritty. So the headlights are, are out, but obviously don't think that's going to fit. Plus, they're foggy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them apart, take the lenses off, and then we can install the projectors. Thankfully, you can actually break open uh, headlights just kind of like an egg. You just kind of have to... Oh, yeah, I heard that crack. And then it comes apart just like... So, see, just like an egg. So we're gonna have to cut this little piece off, or actually it looks like you can take it off with a screwdriver. 
that little reflector piece comes off. Since these are H4s, we use their H4 adapter. That's pretty much in. Relatively normal. Doesn't look as out of place as I was expecting. So that's sick. This will go on there too to make it look pretty. Now, a couple things we're gonna do while these headlights are apart. Obviously these lenses aren't the prettiest, so we are going to paint the lenses. Um, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand them a bunch and then paint them. The other thing I wanna do is go ahead and paint the reflective bits the same gray that the headlight is. Cause it's kind of hard to tell on this gray car, but the headlights on first generation Honda Fits are color matched. It's one of my favorite parts, but with the gray, you can't really tell cause gray is just, I don't know, it's just kind of gray. So I figured maybe if I add more gray, it'll look more color matched, which I, I want. So that's what we're gonna do. Aha, uh -huh, see, pretty silver. Can't tell on all that nastiness. So the first thing we did is we spent a good probably two hours trying to get as much of the old sealant off of the headlight. It's obviously really, really thick and really, really sticky, so it was really hard to do, but I think we got it to the point where when we go to put it back together, it will go back together smoothly. Now is the process of sanding it to get rid of the fog. We're gonna start with 300 grit, do 300, 400, 600, 1,000, 2,000, and then we clear coat it. So we have everything painted, the color match stuff, clear coated, got the lenses clear coated and all dried. They turned out about, I would say 90%. Previously they were probably about 60%. So they're, they're not perfect, but they're better. Now we have to put it back together. And so firstly, we put this housing back into the lens. There we go. And now we put these two pieces together. Before we can do that though, we have to put the projectors back into the housing. And that's tight. Hopefully it ain't going nowhere. That looks pretty cool too. The color matched everything. Oh yeah, that's dope. That looks OEM plus right there, my friends. Pretty sick. Turned out pretty good. There she is. All the wires right back there. Voila, beautiful. Oh, there we go. Okay. Huh? Yeah, okay. God, ow, it hurts to look at it so bright. Jeez. 
Ah, 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 my eyes. It just like snaps back into place and fits perfectly. That's so cool. Honda actually kind of did some cool shit. Bro, those things look pretty freaking good. Pretty factory. It would be so much cooler if that thing was land frame. <laughs> yeah, it would be so sick. And with mine, you know. Yeah, like race car and stance car. Right, I have to go back to the R comps on mine. Get maybe like a little, little wing. Big intercooler in the front of mine. Big intercooler? Big intercooler. Like bigger than it should, yeah. Yeah, yeah. oversized. Yeah. No blow off valve, so it goes so -to 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 -to. Watch me crash into Caleb right now. This is gonna take a while. Audrey's car is My looking car. awesome. This was just kind of an intro video. In future videos, we'll do more to this car and more importantly to my car. This car probably won't get as many mods, let's be honest. Yeah. But we've got, oh, we've got a couple cool ideas. I don't know if this came out before or after the drift truck video. If it came, came out before, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. We're waiting on metal, all right? Do you see how empty the big rack is? If it came after, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, either way, we're working on the drift truck. And if you wanna watch that, head a schedule. You can click up there, become a Patreon, support the channel, and get access to exclusive content. Patrons knew about this car like two months ago, so. This one? Yeah, see you guys. See ya.